Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to install the fan on top. So, I do have the Max Fan Deluxe. It's a manual opening. It's got four speeds, I think. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and get this thing out of the box, take a look at what we have, and then uh, we'll get the hole drilled, routered, in the top of the camper, and then we'll uh, start getting this thing installed. So, let's pull it out of the box. some screws that we uh, probably won't use to fasten it down with and we do have a little bit of a manual that we'll check out before we get things going but uh, here's the unit this ring here gets installed onto the top of the trailer first so we need to get this installed and then uh, set our unit down, get it installed, and then we'll go on the inside, wire things up, and get this uh, beauty ring installed. Mm -hmm. So to install our fan, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set our ring in the hole, and we're going to mark around where the edge is. We'll get it centered, and then uh, we'll take that off, then we'll use our 3M corner seal tape and go around the edge of our hole. And then once that's installed, then we'll go and line the bottom of our ring with some butyl tape. And then we'll install the ring. We'll go ahead and get the fasteners drilled and put in place. Then last but not least, we'll clean up and then we'll go around the edge with some ProFlex. So that's how I'm going to install it. So let's get up there and uh, start marking things. Put the tape down, get some holes drilled, put it on. So we're all set to uh, get this top routered out. I went ahead and uh, punched a hole here in the top for my router bit. And then on the inside, I went ahead and uh, taped off that hole to catch all the dust that's going to come. And uh, I don't want to get any more dirt in here than I have to. So let's wheel this outside and put the router to it. definitely have a hole in the roof now. Alright, so that turned out pretty nice. Nice and clean job. A little bit of dust here and there. And we vacuumed it out a little bit. Made things look uh, halfway decent. Good deal. Now we can uh, concentrate on getting that fan in there. Alright, the first thing that we're going to do is get this centered and uh, get it marked out so we can get some tape on here. So I slid it as far forward as I can, mark my ends, slide it this way as far as I can, get it here, and mark my ends. Slide it back. And then I'll just split the difference here. So that looks about centered. So now what I'll do is take my pencil, go around the edge, yep, now we're centered. So now what I'll do is I'll take some tape, go ahead and put around our line, and uh, get everything kind of protected there, so when we put down our sealant, we're not getting it all over the roof. Now we'll take a little bit of acetone, clean everything up, the inside and the top here, 
and then we'll get ready to put on our tape. Uh, we're just going to back it off here about a quarter of an inch and we'll overlap, go down over the edge and then we'll put some here on the corner. <clears throat> I think I might do the corners first and then put the strip along the edge and we'll get a nice seal over top of that uh, seam right here so no water can get in. Okay, now I've pre-cut all my tape for my edges, so we'll set this out of the way, and uh, we'll install this. So, the edge of my blue tape is the uh, edge of this ring, and we're going to bring this back about probably a quarter of an inch from that edge. Just like so. Fold that over, right into the corners. Give that a nice firm press. See if we can't take off this plastic covering. There we go. And we'll do that for the remaining three sides. Once we get that on, then we'll get a couple of little pieces and we'll just wrap over the corners here real nice so we make sure that uh, everything is sealed up pretty tight. And then we get some beetle tape on there. So with our adhesive tape on, now we've got a nice coverage over all of our corners. So you can see how that's in that corner really good all the way around. So now we're uh, we're pretty well sealed here. So uh, I'm not worried about any water getting in and damage the wood. That seems to be well protected. That tape is uh, some gooey sticky stuff and good luck trying to peel that back up. Okay now we have our ring next thing that we need to do is we're going to go ahead and install the butyl tape around our ring. Once that's installed, we can put it in place, line it up where it needs to be, go ahead and pre-drill all of our holes, we'll put some ProFlex inside the holes, and then we'll fasten them down. And uh, we'll get that attached, then we can go on the inside, and worry about hooking things up. Well, I think once that's all attached, yeah, go around the outside here with some ProFlex. Mm, I don't know yet. We'll get that attached and then we'll worry about sealing it up here later once everything oozes out. We get things trimmed up. So, I'm happy with it. It's starting to look good. It's fitting really well. Now we'll go ahead and put the butyl tape around the edge. Of our, hat, of our trim here. And I'm probably going to use two layers. Alright, now what we're going to do is we'll set it in place, press it down firmly, and then we will uh, pre-drill and put a couple of screws in to hold it in place. Then we'll pre-drill all the other screws, put our ProFlex in, and get those uh, fastened down. Take out the two screws that we put in to hold it in place, put our ProFlex down on that. Fasten this down. I'm going to use number eight by one and a quarter truss head screws. So this has the uh, big head on there. That actually uh, gives a little more surface to press down. So let's uh, get a couple of these in. And I just 
want to get things held in place. We don't want to fasten it down tight. And we'll put a couple here on the back. Now we'll pre-drill all the holes, put our ProFlex in, get those fastened down, then we'll take out these screws, put ProFlex in that, and then get those fastened down. Good. Now we'll uh, clean up around that edge, let things squeeze out overnight, then we'll come back tomorrow and we'll put a nice heavy bead pro flex around that, make sure things are sealed solid. Okay, now that we've got everything kind of cleaned up and uh, masked off on the top edge, we're going to go ahead and apply the pro flex along this edge right here and to help facilitate the spread I got a little piece of cardboard with a couple of round corners and we'll just take that and drag around the edge once we get the uh, ProFlex spread on there. So let's get that applied and see if we can't get this spread around without making a mess. Alright, let's take our piece of cardboard and see if we can't get that around there nice and pretty like. Alright, we'll finish up the other side, we'll call that done, pull our tape up, and see how well we did. Alright, so we have a nice heavy layer of ProFlex sealing all the way around. And uh, we're protected with double layers underneath with our 3M Super Duty tape and our Butyl. And of course you can still see the, the tape on the inside. So we've got nice protection from any water that may try to get inside. Before I uh, put all the screws in, I filled the holes with ProFlex and it was actually oozing out here at the bottom uh, when I was pu pushing it in. So uh, putting the screws in really bites into this 3M tape and seals that real good. Plus it's compressing. so. Uh, it's on there tight, watertight, and I'm confident that it's going to work just fine. Now, a lot of people will use the lap sealant over the edges and over top of the screws. 
Um, I'm not going to do that. I am confident right now that everything that we've done up to this point has sealed that really well. So now we'll let that set up and then we'll get ready to put the top on. All right, now we're ready to install the, uh, the fan. So before we can actually get this in here, we need to open it up because of the, uh, the holes that we need to use to fasten to the side are under the hood. So to open this, pull on that handle, we'll unwind that, and then we'll set this in place. There we go. Then we just line up the holes. into it. So these are our last two screws here to get into the side. And voila, our fan is on. So we can go ahead and remove our plastic film here, maybe. the fun part. And voila. I don't think it looks too shabby. And then we'll, uh, we'll lower it down and see what uh, kind of clearance we have. And that's a shot of it with it down. So it's got fairly low profile, which is uh, exactly what I was hoping for. So let's see. Let's see if I can't get you a shot of this thing going up. Exhaust right there. You can keep it open while it's raining. I like that. And uh, lower it down. All right. Now we just have to hook up some wiring and put our ring in. So let's get that all set up. All right, now it's playtime. Let's get some wires hooked up. All right, let's see if we can't get these wires tucked out of the way. See if our ring will fit in there. There we go. Now we just gotta cut that. Let me get a pencil. We'll mark that. We'll get this cut it on. Now there's a couple ways to uh, install this. We can 
measure from here down to the top of the ceiling, add about a half inch to three quarter inch to it, and uh, then mark that on a ring, and then we can cut it, or we can fit it in here like I'm gonna do, and draw a line around it just to make sure I got it where I want it. See how well it fits. Ooh. Nice and pretty like. Alright, now we'll drill some holes and get it installed. I'm looking forward to testing it out. And there we go. So I think it looks pretty nice in there, nice and clean. So now let's hook up some wires and we will test that out. Hopefully everything works. All right, we have the battery hooked up and we're ready for a simple test. So I've got the uh, vent open. It doesn't need to be open when it's running. Uh, matter of fact, when it gets running, we'll close it and uh, show you how much air pushes down. But it has a on button with four speeds and an off button. So if I press it once, that's the first speed. And it's nice and quiet. Two. Three. Should be one more, maybe. There we go. Yeah, it's got some power. So if we uh, close this vent, this is what I'm gonna like. Oh yeah. All that air pushing down. Feels good. It can get hot out here in the garage. And off. Sweet. It works. And we still have the lights. Let me show you one more thing. Well, since we're out here uh, dinking around with some electricity, I thought we'd go ahead and test these lights out. See how bright this is. And then we'll turn off all the lights, kick this back on, See how much light this thing casts off, but we change our leads here. There. It gives a uh, it gives plenty of light. What do you think? Well, let me disconnect that, turn off all the lights, and we'll turn it on again. If I can find my way in the dark here when I turn off the lights. Plenty of light. You can see inside the cabinets. Oh yeah, so I think that's going to work out pretty decent. Alright guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. So we successfully installed 
our Max Air, the Max Fan, and uh, everything works fine. So, I'm pretty happy with it. I like the way it looks. When it's closed, it's a low profile, so less drag going down the road. Lights seem to be working okay. Uh, now we just have some switches that we need to get installed here in the back so we make sure that uh, you know we turn lights on and off when we need them. So we have a lot of little odds and ends that we still have to do before we can call this done and uh, we're one step closer to being finished. So if you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and that bell notification for the next videos coming up. You don't want to miss those. And uh, well, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? That's right. Stay tuned.